are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, it has been a while since the Washington football team. I hate the name Commanders, to tell you the truth. It's been a few years now since they were actually called the Redskins, their rightful name. But of course, you know, in a post George Floyd world, everything got woke. Even your sports teams got woke. And the Washington Redskins were public enemy number one when it came to their name. Now, of course, you know, there were rumblings before George Floyd, but George Floyd gave them the perfect excuse to really go after the Redskins. I mean, the Wolts, man. Now, the Wolts really don't even watch sports, okay? They don't. They never support the Redskins. Now, the Redskins was a great franchise. But then Dan Snyder, the uh, former owner of the Redskins, he bent the knee to corporate sponsors because sponsors are woke. He truly didn't want to um, change the name. And I remember he said, we will never change the name. But then the corporate sponsors got woke and they put the pressure on him. They were going to pull their sponsorships. I mean, this is crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. The Indians are gone. Cleveland Indians, man. Great team name. Chief Wahoo. Great logo. Just like the Washington Redskins, man. That team was iconic. In the 1980s, they won three Super Bowls. Now, this Washington Commanders thing, I believe the vast majority of people hate the name. It's probably the worst team name in sports. Washington Commanders. Honestly, to tell you the truth, guys, I don't even know what their logo is. I really don't. I have no idea what that mascot looks like. But. When they were the Redskins, everybody saw the iconic Indian on the side of the helmet. There was no doubt about it. If you guys actually know who the Redskins um, or the commanders now, who their um, mascot is, let me know, because I honestly have no idea. But anyway, guys, Washington is making a bit time move here. And maybe just maybe we may be inching closer to having the Redskins come back now that uh, Josh Harris and Magic Johnson actually own the team. Now, they kind of push back on you know, the Redskins, but however, they're going back into the history of the Redskins and bringing something back that we, that we haven't seen since um, 2018. Let's get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, Remember live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or on Locals just for $5 per month. Check the links in the description. Here we go, guys. Check this out. Commanders are returning part of their history with gold pants. Could we ever get the full thing with the Redskins? Look at this, guys. I'm a Cowboys fan. I love the Cowboys Redskins rivalry. The Commanders and Cowboys, not a rivalry, man. It's not the same. But look here, now they're going back to the history and the gold pants are coming back. It says here, the Washington Commanders haven't worn their gold pants since the 2018 campaign. But that's all about to change here in 2024. As they'll be returning as a part of their team's uniform rotation. Released Tuesday, Washington showcased the historic pants in multiple photos. For over 40 years, the gold pants were a signature piece of the organization's uniforms. This following their relocation from Boston before the 1937 season. Washington began to use the gold in 1937 and all the way to the end of the 1978 campaign. It stayed in the team's rotation. In 1979, the franchise then moved to knits to gold and transitioned to burgundy pants and white ones. From there, it was hit and miss with the commanders last using them in 2018. So here you have it, man. That looks good. 
That looks good. Now, I really, really don't like the W on the side of the helmet. Bring back the Redskins logo. Please. Overall, man, you see, they kind of teeter, you know, with the Redskins. They kind of kept the colors in a way, but it's still not the same. I mean, when I see commanders across the jerseys, that's just not that's just not a part of the team's history, man. I mean, they they actually didn't have a name for what? Two, three years when they dropped the Redskins, they were just the Washington football team. Go back to that. Over the commanders. I mean, it's that bad. Now, RG3, who was actually drafted by the Redskins, he put out a poll here. Look over here on it. He says, dear Washington Commanders fans, this is a safe space. Why would you even put that in? Would you be happy if the old logo was brought back? Does he know something that we don't know? Because you can actually see right there, RG3 is actually rocking the um, the gold pants right there. You can see a little bit of it right there in that photo. Here's the poll. 65.2% of people say, says only want the old name, the Redskins. Now, he put some other uh, names here. Washington Red, Haw- Red Hawks. No, nah, no. Nah. Washington Warriors. No. Nope. Washington Tribe. That sounds a bit better to me. But the team is the Redskins. <laughs> yeah. And my boys on the Hodge Twins, they say it would be racist to not bring it back. Yeah. Because truly, guys, to me, by them getting rid of the Redskins, that was pretty racist right there. They didn't want any Native American representation. You know, just like um, Aunt your Mama, Uncle Ben's, uh, Mia. That's pretty racist, man, because uh, mainly uh, white leftists are the reason why. Uh, those uh, logos are gone. I mean, Aunt Jemima is what? Pearl Milling Company? I was actually in the grocery store. I looked at it. I was like, this looks dumb. It looks absolutely dumb, man. And right there, that's a close up now of um of um the gold pants right there. But it says commanders. It should say red skins. It should say that. So maybe just maybe, man, maybe. Josh Harris, Magic Johnson, man, they're probably thinking, you know what? Eventually, it's going to come back. You know what? I think it's too late for this season, considering, you know, that the um, that the um, season is about to start. No way they're going to bring it back. But what if next year, what if they do this? Let's say they don't even bring back the, um, the jerseys for the full season. What if they actually test the waters and um, wear a throwback uh, jerseys? For that season, let's just say like two games, they do it just to kind of test the waters. I think the reception would be great. Now, the Wolts be outraged, but guess what? The Wolts don't even watch the NFL. They don't. Do you guys think the Redskins are coming back? Maybe so. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.